In this week's Week in Review, we're talking Amazon and Twitter, Card Munch, and Facebook Video Metrics. Hey everybody, this is Andrew McCauley from Autopilot Your Business with the Week in Review. First up, Amazon and Twitter have teamed up so that now you can purchase items from Amazon via your Twitter stream. How crazy is this? So basically, if you find an item, you got the item code on the Twitter stream, you add the hashtag, hashtag Amazon cart, and it will sync up your Amazon shopping cart with your Twitter account, and then you can go and purchase that item. So what is happening? How many people need to be buying things from Amazon? Well, here's the cool thing is that if, Amazon becomes the default for items like or platforms like Twitter and Facebook, then their business is set to grow rapidly. It's going to be an interesting experiment to see how this works and how many people actually take it up. But shopping from your Twitter stream, you'll never lead to you'll never you'll never need to leave your streams again. Okay, also this week, Facebook has announced better metrics and analytics for people using video. In the past, on Facebook, when you uploaded a video, you could see the number of views, and that's about it. Now, they're putting a whole range of analytics of, uh, for you as a marketer to see exactly who's watching your video, how long they've been on it, where they watch watched till. Um, there's a whole range of cool things. So if you're using video, you want to start looking at these analytics. It's going to tell you some interesting insights to what you're doing on Facebook. So check that out. And also this week, we have Card Munch. Now, Card Munch was one of my favorite apps that was as a LinkedIn-owned product. Basically, when I was out and about and I met somebody with, with a business card that I hadn't seen before, I took a photo through Card Munch and it linked it up to my LinkedIn profile. Well, LinkedIn have decided to do away with Card Munch and they're going to concentrate on linking things better now with Evernote. So if you've got Evernote, one of the new apps or the new features on one of the apps on Evernote, is that it lets you take a scan of the business card and adds it to your LinkedIn profile. The cool thing about the new Evernote app is that it will also let you geotag that card. So for instance, if you're at a, an event in Boston and you meet somebody, you can geotag saying, I met these people in Boston so that it will help you remember who they are down the track. So Card Munch will offer its services up until about mid-July and then they're going to pull it all, all together. So if you're a Card Munch fan, Start winding up your excitement about that app and then look for the Evernote app in a store near you. All right, so that's the Weekend Review. I'm Andrew McCauley. Looking forward to seeing you next time.